Be Whoa. anything but a catastrophe, but suddenly I begin to see a bit of good luck for me. Cause I got a oh, golden that's Broadway! Twinkle. That's Broadway! I got a golden twinkle in my eye. I never had a chance to shine, never a happy song to sing, but suddenly half the world is mine. What an amazing thing! Cause I got a golden ticket. I got a golden ticket. I got a golden ticket. Wait to see who you are, but before we get to that panel, you got to give us your final guesses on who you believe the mantis is. Oh, well, there's been so many clues pointed at this great actor. The uh, baseball diamond, I think, is because he played the oldest living pitcher in the movie The Rookie. He played a legend, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, in Great Balls of Fire. I think this is Dennis Quaid. That's pretty good. Actor extraordinaire, more credits than Ken. That's the mantis. <laughs> Nicole, what you got? Well, 
I love my guest, and I think the audience loves this guest. He is the king of character actors. I think Mantis is Steve Buscemi. Yeah. All right, can I just jump in for a second? Yes, ma'am. I like it. Okay, so weeks prior, there was like a let loose clue, and he plays the gu guitar. He's been in way more movies than Ken. Wow. Oh my gosh. I think 100% this could be Kevin Bacon. That would be what? amazing. That would be incredible. That would be great. That, that would be awesome. He just doesn't move like a baby. Shut up. Okay. You know what? This gentleman talked about not being people's idea of a leading man. Something I can relate to as a romantic <laughs> lead myself. Yes. And this gentleman explored this idea in this in his incredible movie, The Whale. This is Brendan Fraser. It's a free it's a free country. You don't have to clap. They're not really feeling it. Overall, that was a yay for me. Yeah. All right, well, panel, you've made your final guesses. Let's see if any of you are correct. Come on, Mantis. Audience, say it with me. Take, Take it off. off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Come on. Brandon. Fraser. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know who this is. Fraser. Director, writer, author, amazing individual, so much fun. Thank you for being here. Oh my God. Well done. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Robin, you you seem like I don't oh. think I've ever seen a reaction out of you. Honestly, like this. I love Lou Diamond Phillips. When I was right at that, you know, young boy age, two of my favorite movies were La Bamba. Yes. My God, that movie had a huge impact on me. I listened to the soundtrack daily. And then yeah. Young Guns. Regulators. That was Mount my up. thing. So, I mean, to not expect to see you and then all these feelings of growing up watching you and, and admiring you so much. What, a, what an honor to have you here. What Thanks for saving me. <laughs> what an honor. And, you know, Donnie and I were literally talking about you last week. He's been on Blue Bloods with Donnie. And I was talking about, is he coming back? Because he was so great. With and then there he is. Oh, so there's the Blue Bloods. There's the TV cop. Oh, course. my goodness. That was in the cruise. He works with your husband. <laughs> you really got to our panel. This is the most. Right? Well, because I know them all. We feel really stupid, Nick. So we have to ask you, what made you want to do The mass Singer? Uh, I got to give a massive shout out to my daughter, yeah. Indigo. Oh. Yes. Uh, her and her friend, Fluffy, watched this show religiously. So that was, that was the primary reason. But, you know, you guys have had just such wonderful, surprising, ridiculous guests. You know, I mean, Grammy winners and nominees down to surprising people like me that you don't necessarily expect. So uh, it has been a joy. It has been a joy to be on this show. Thank you. What a reveal. Well, let's get one more song. Make some noise for the artist formerly known as the Mantis. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lou Diamond Phillips. to get changed and we'll see you in the VIP section. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mr. Lou Diamond Phillips, ladies and gentlemen. The 